Ready? Finish. Okay, good afternoon everyone. Um, we're going to put together for you today um, a pattern session, if you like. We're going to run from um, Gaibek right down to Chongjin. So in these crazy times with um, C19 running rampant around the world, we just thought that um, in case you need to train at home, these um, pattern videos might be of some help to you all uh, in trying to achieve your goals. So let's begin. Okay. Ready? Three. Hi. Three. Perfect. So ordinarily with your um, L stance you'd be at 45 degrees, for example with a punch or perhaps with an X fist, but with the knife hand we bring it to the front. And with the twisting kick it's at thigh height and it has slight force. Okay? All your twisting kicks low to the front with a slight force. Okay, back one more. Nathan, I will. Good. And continuous motion, we move back. One, two. So, two full techniques, two full sideways, one breath. Good. Half facing. Bring your fist sort of in front of your lower abdomen. With the knife hand, we'd move it slightly left. But with the fist, we just bring it in a little bit. Good. Always look through the hole in the arc hand. See, there's a bit of a hole here, and that's immediately in front of the shoulder. A little bit more half facing. Good. So drop down into your beating stance. Shake this foot like a side kick, so at the moment the left foot is shaped like a side kick, so it's ready to kick, and it's just forward of the knee, so the heel, if you like, is just on the inside of the knee. Good, and we're scooping slightly inside the shoulder. So this is connecting motion, so this is this way. Straight to the centre, right back to the hip. Feet parallel, so just a sitting stance. <laughs> Back here again. Here. And deliver the front strike straight to the front. Okay, so immediately to the front. Good. Almost vertical. Around about 80 degrees. Cool. So from here, we'll step to parallel stance. Forward. Okay. Fingertips are level and target, well, we're aiming towards the forehead. Good. Back one. So with the side kick, we just pull the hands in the opposite direction. So don't leave them to the front. 
or touch them in any way. So we just pull in the opposite direction from here. And down. Close. Close. Close again. And open this time. Good. So the right knife hand at the moment is on the same side chest. And this is where it should be regardless of what type of guarding block we're doing. Hand will be on the opposite side of the same side chest, same here as well, and it stays there. Nine shape block. So at the moment, the right arm is closer to the body than the left because it comes down on the inside, so it stays there. Should be a roundabout walking stance in length. So it's quite a way. Twin fist vertical punch. So maybe the cheek or the chin somewhere in here. So there's our double arc hand again, which is half facing. So it's a very similar position, like we'll see. And Kwange, this way, half facing, half facing, circular block also, half facing. No! That's it. Full facing. Okay. Elbow just slightly forward of the ribs with the fist is elevated. Okay. Fist is slightly upward. So from our arc hand, circular. Okay. Elbow. Good. So set the elbow up as a target, rather than bringing the palm to the elbow. And the front elbow strike um, starts with the forearm sort of sideways, or the fist sideways, or the forearm facing downward, and then it rotates. A little bit like an angle punch, but we're driving the elbow. Facing, X starts, your feet face the same direction as the body. So in this case, we're half facing out this way. That's where our feet should be half overlapped this way as well. Poem, when we turn this way to the front, that's the way our feet are facing. We do our bending stance, we do our side kick, we step shoulder width and a half. Very similar here. So we're dodging about a shoulder, we're doing our kick, and we're stepping shoulder width and a half back the same way. No! Yeah, you could possibly back this a little bit there, Nathan. Two! Little knuckle fist. L stance, 15 degrees in the feet. So, for your younger ones that are doing L stances, for example in Chongji, 15 degrees is only a little bit. So, the front foot's almost facing slightly forward, uh, straight forward, but not quite. Same with the rear foot, it's almost facing straight out to the side, but not quite. And the knee should be over the middle toe. So bring that back a little bit and sit down so it has a 30, 70-30 uh, weight distribution and you should really feel it in that thigh there. Can you feel that? Yes sir. Good. Good answer. <laughs> Remember this arm is slightly closer than this arm. No! 
Very common error here, be very careful. This is reverse knife hand, and this is knife hand. So you have two knife hands here at first, and then you have one of each when you're here. And this is 10 centimeters, so it's quite close. So forearm is 20, knife hand is 15, and reverse knife hand is 10. And just run that knife hand down the leg. Nope. W shape lock, arms are vertical. Elbows slightly below the shoulder. Don't have to stretch all the way back. You can relax your arms slightly forward. You see Curtis here stretching way back. Puts a lot of tension on your shoulders. So just bring your arms slightly forward. Leave your knife, your W shape lock up this way. Turn. And drive your foot into the floor like a sidekick. Face me for as long as you can, then spin. Focus on the left forearm. Good. Back one. Use the hips. Forearm low block, knife hand low block, rising block. So cross to the side and down a little bit. But use the hips. Full face. Good. Block is seven centimeters from the head. The angle is 45 degrees ish. It's not written, but it's sort of off on the angle. No! Has a name. Jab it. Jab it. Put off. And shift. 